Hey guys, just got in from a little duck hunt out here on the pond. Uh, I thought I would do a quick video for uh, the beginners out there. I've done a lot of research over the last month or so on uh, decoys and calls and tactics and yada yada yada. So um, I thought I would just share a few things that um, may help some people. It's a little bit intimidating um, just going out there and... and um, not sure what to buy, how much to buy, everything's expensive nowadays. So I thought I would cover a few different things. Um, first is decoys. Um, I bought nine silhouettes that I turned into floaters. You can watch my video on how I did that. And I bought six mallard decoys. And that's all I used. Um, I was able to get some ducks and some geese right on my pond um, without really scouting or, or going anywhere that's had better populations. Um, there was some pretty big flocks of geese that have flown, flown over recently and um, I just went after some locals. So uh, you don't need to spend thousands of dollars on multiple dozen decoys. Um, a dozen of each would do, do you well. <clears throat> um, the next thing would be calls. And calling. The big flocks are coming through now. There's another smaller one over there. It's about the fifth or sixth flock now in the last half an hour. So I bought two duck calls and two goose calls. And uh, the reason I bought two of each is that if one's not being effective, I could switch to the other one and hopefully um, entice the ducks or the geese to come in with that other call. And um, they all have slightly different pitches and tones. And um, that way if I'm using one and the other, that sounds like there's two ducks or geese. And uh, that seemed to help quite a bit. Um, calling is a whole different ball of wax. Um, there's a lot of calls to know. You have to perform them well. If you blow a call, you may just blow that portion of your hunt. That flock of ducks or geese are just going to highball it out of there. Um, I know a few times I had some geese coming in and they were getting within, you know, 100 yards or so. And I let out some nasty squawk and they just turned and took off. So, um, I laugh at it now. I cursed at it then though. Um. Get, a, get your calls, sit in front of your computer and watch some YouTube videos and uh, listen to what the guy has to say and then try and reenact it with your duck call or your goose call. And then when you're out in the field, uh, do the same thing. If you hear a quack, do that quack back. If you hear uh, a sequence of quacks, try to uh, replicate those quacks. Um, once you figure out, you know, the cluck and moan, and uh, the honks and the quacks and the feeder chuckles you can really shoot ducks and geese with just those calls um, you don't need spit notes and squeals and this and that and the next thing um, obviously as you get more advanced in your calling you're going to be able to entice more and more ducks to come in which are going to up your odds of killing more ducks and geese so um, definitely learn them but don't focus on them until you know how to do the simple quacks and honks and stuff like that. Um, it's overwhelming if you just type in, you know, goose call for beginners in YouTube or the on the internet through Google. Um, there's all kinds of calls. I was uh, really overwhelmed when I started. But, uh, you know, a couple duck calls and a couple goose calls and you're going to kill them. You're going to get... Uh, flocks to come down to you and you're going to get some pokes so um, you don't need to master them over overnight um, as far as camo goes most hunters already have camo just use that you don't need to go out and buy a bunch of marsh uh, um, marsh colored camouflage um, try and 
to get into areas that are a little thicker to help you camouflage in. Um, try and stay um, fairly still. You know, when you're calling, don't be flapping around and, you know, twisting and turning and, you know, just kind of, you know, click, 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 you know, be nice and still and smooth when you're transitioning. And um, when ducks are flying, they're fast, so you've got to constantly be looking and scouting for them. They are, they're really quick. Um, another thing that I learned is it's hard to get ducks and geese to go where you want them to go. Um, close to my shack there's a nice rock point and I thought well that would be really convenient to be able to hunt right there so I went out and I set my decoys out and they'd land further out further out and they were always landing in this um, there's kind of a floating bog in the middle of my pond and they like to be around that they'll get up on it and prune themselves and then they'll go back in the water and swim around and they'll get up on it and and um, once I switch to the other spot that I'm, I'm hunting out of now, um, now I'm killing ducks and geese. Before, I was shooting at 75 yards, hoping to, uh, <laughs> hoping that a lucky pellet had hit one, and of course it never did. That's a, a pretty good shot for someone with a 12 gauge. But now I'm consistently in the 40 yard range, and uh, if I can get ducks or geese in that close, they're dead. Well, we ended up getting three ducks, a small um, mallard hen, and two ringnecks. Another thing is um, your decoy spread. Um, they say that ducks land into the wind. I've never seen that yet. Um, just get your decoys out there. Get them in around 30 yards or so into a comfortable shooting range and uh, make C's and J's so that there's pockets for them to land in and hopefully they'll land in that pocket. Um, I've done different J's um, and the ducks and geese land where they want to land. If you're, all your ducks and geese are within your 40 or 50 yard range, they're going to land close to that. So if your pocket's closer, there's a good chance they're going to land in closer. But um, I haven't had them land where I want them to land yet and none of them have landed into the wind. Thought, uh, thought I'd share that with you because I was a bit overwhelmed when I started uh, researching, um, learning on my own and, and through the computer, so a lot of trial and error, but uh, I have managed to bag some ducks and some geese, so it's been uh, been rewarding and it's a ton of fun it's right up there on some of my tops for hunting um, there's lots of action when the the birds are flying and you can quickly uh, shoot a box of shells so um, for anyone who's new to duck hunting and geese hunting I hope this helps and uh, for any of you that have done it lots and have any tips and tricks be sure to leave them down below so I can uh, see them and hopefully learn a few things that I can uh, put into play out here in the pond. So cheers guys and uh, appreciate you watching and it's almost time for me to go back to work. So we'll see you later.